Hey Mo, so um, here's my fan cam and uh, reaction to the Chelsea game. To be honest with you, I didn't expect us to beat Chelsea or match them at all. But again, there was no plan. I couldn't really see what the tactics were. Um, I thought Lukaku handled Mari quite a lot. I don't really see what this this thing with Pablo Mari is that he keeps falling down and asking for for fouls or hoping to get fouls in the 60-yard area. He did that against Brentford as well for their goal, which is worrying. Um, defense looks short, midfield looks short, going forward looks short, no plan, as I said. Um, not good enough. Players are not good enough. Managers are not good enough. The fact that we are we go into the game not expecting to even go to to toe to toe with Chelsea is telling as to where, where this club is and how, how much we're falling unfortunately. Um I know we're gonna do a show together tomorrow um on our channel and then we're gonna go through the game in, in details. But it it's not looking good. Man City again is another game <clears throat> that we're going in there not expecting anything, probably be another loss. And three games in zero points will be in a relegation zone um, I think the best thing that Arsenal can do from now to end of the transfer window is probably get rid of the manager and bring a, an established and experienced manager like Antonio Conte in. offer him whatever he wants bring him in because I think a, a proper manager and I use the word proper uh, could get better out of the current bunch that's what we have uh, at Arsenal, at least there will be there will be a plan. There will be a there will be something to do. I was speaking to somebody uh, earlier, and and they said that they watched Lukaku, and he he was just making the right runs, whereas compared to to our players, they were just sprinting down the line, coming back, running around, running around, with no end result. We didn't really lay glove in Chelsea today. I think if it wasn't for Bernd Leno, we could have looked at a different scoreline. He made a really, really good save. We need to praise him for the, for for his for his fantastic save because we criticize him for his distribution sometimes. Um, I hope that they'll bring the right players in, players that we re really need because we haven't really spent on first eleven. We've purchased players like Odegaard that is underwhelming. I was having a conversation with, with, with a few friends earlier and we were talking about Arsenal midfield and Odegaard's name was not even mentioned. And it just shows where, where we are and, and how we, f we all felt about him. At the end of the day, we all want Arsenal to win and we all want Arsenal to do well. So hopefully, hopefully going forward, things will improve and we'll start picking up points. But for me, he should have gone at the end of last season.